Hey guys, today we are going to look at adding and subtracting polynomials. We're gonna answer the question, how do I add and subtract polynomials? So polynomials can be added or subtracted by combining like terms. So basically we're just doing a little bit more difficult combining like terms problems. You need to make sure that you can recognize like terms. Like terms must have the same base and exponent. So like x squared and x to the third you cannot combine those because those are not like terms because they have different exponents. But x squared minus 2x squared, you could combine those because those have the same exponent. The main thing we need to be careful about today, as along with like terms, is the sign when subtracting polynomials. It can be easier to add the opposite of each term in the second polynomial instead of subtracting. So what we are going to do is if we end up with a subtraction problem, we're gonna change that to plus, and we're gonna distribute the negative to everything inside so that we're adding the opposite. Let's just look at some addition problems first though. So I have 2x squared plus 5x minus 4 plus x squared minus 3x plus 2. So some people find it helpful to line up what is happening. So if you wanted to line up that second polynomial with the first one, you can. I just like to use my different colors, so that's what I'm going to do here. So 2x squared plus x, since I'm adding, I don't have to change the sign. 2x squared plus x, that would be like 2 plus 1 with the coefficients, so it's 3x squared. When we're adding and subtracting polynomials, we keep the variable with the exponent and we just combine the coefficients. Okay, then the next thing that will come in standard form is the x's, so 5x plus negative 3x would be positive 2x. And then I have the constants, negative four plus two would be negative two. So there is the polynomial after we have added. Okay, let's look at this next one. I am adding so I don't have to worry about changing the signs. Seven x squared plus negative three x squared. Seven minus three is four, so that's gonna be four x squared. And then 3x plus 4x is 7x. And then negative 9 minus 17. Those are both negative. So I'm going to combine and keep the sign. It would be negative 26. So there is the combined polynomial. Okay, number 3. I am subtracting. I'm not just subtracting the 2x, I'm subtracting this whole group. So like we talked about earlier, I'm going to change this to plus, and then I'm gonna distribute the negative to everything inside the parentheses. And I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite this problem just so I don't get confused on any of the signs. So the first group is staying the same, 4x squared plus 9x minus one, and then I'm changing this to a plus and I'm distributing a negative to everything inside the parentheses. So that 2x squared is gonna become negative 2x squared, that negative 3x is gonna become positive 3x, and that positive four is gonna become negative four. Now it is just an addition problem like we've been doing. So I'm just gonna combine like terms and 4x squared plus negative 2x squared is 2x squared and then 9x plus 3x is 12x. And then negative one minus four is negative five. So there is how I like to do a subtraction problem. I change it to plus and distribute a negative inside the parentheses. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on number four as well. I'm going to change this to a plus opposite problem by distributing out that negative. So the first group will stay the same, 4x minus 5x squared plus 14. And then this becomes a plus, and now I'm changing the sign of everything in the second group. It'll be negative 9x squared, that negative 10 will change to positive 10, and that positive 8x will change to negative 8x. 
Okay, now if you notice, both of these groups are not written in standard form, but I can see that the highest exponent is x squared. So I'm going to start by combining those, even though it's not really in the correct order. So negative 5x squared will combine with negative 9x squared to make negative 14x squared. And then next in standard form would come the x's. So 4x plus negative 8x would be negative 4x. And then lastly, I will have the constants. So 14 plus 10 is 24. Okay, number five. I have three different groups here. I have this 7x squared, and then I have this plus 8x minus 2x squared, and then this minus 5x plus 11. So I'm going to go ahead and change the subtraction to a plus the opposite with that group by distributing the negative, and then that'll make it a little bit easier to combine the like terms here. So the first part of this problem is going to stay the same, 7x squared plus 8 x minus 2x squared, and then this second group is changing to plus, and then that positive 5x will become negative 5x, and that positive 11 will become negative 11. Okay, now I'm just going to combine like terms. The 7x squared will combine with this negative 2x squared. I'm starting with those, since in standard form I want the highest exponent first, so that'll be 5x squared. And then 8x will combine with or negative 5x to create 3x. And then I just have this constant of negative 11. So there is the polynomial combined in standard form. Okay, number six, I have fractions. That's okay though, it looks like my x squareds have common denominators, so those will be easy to add. And I also have this subtracting that group. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that to a plus the opposite by distributing a negative out. So this first group will stay the same, two fifths x squared plus three fourths x minus 12. And then this second group will change to plus negative eight, and then that positive one-fifth x squared will change to negative one-fifth x squared. Okay, now we can combine like terms that I've taken care of the sign, so I'm gonna start with the x squared since those are the highest exponents. Two-fifths x squared minus one-fifth x squared. Two-fifths minus one-fifth is just one-fifth, so that will become one-fifth x squared. And then 3 fourths x does not have another x to combine with, so that will remain plus 3 fourths x. And then negative 12 minus 8 will combine to create a negative 20. So there is the polynomial in standard form. Okay, number seven, I need to find the perimeter of the triangle. To find the perimeter of a triangle, I just add the three sides together. So I'm just combining like terms. So if you wanted to write out the long polynomial where we add the three sides, you can. I'm just going to combine like terms straight from this triangle. So I'm going to start with the x squared, 3x squared plus x squared will be 4x squared. And then I'm going to combine the x's. So 4x plus x will be 5x. And then lastly, 10 plus 15 is 25. And 25 minus 7 is 18. So that'll be plus 18 at the end. Okay, number seven says the area of the rectangle is x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2x, or minus 2. The area of the triangle is 2x squared minus 5x plus 10. Write an area of the shaded region as a simplified expression. So let's make a plan for what we need to do. 
we want to find this shaded region. So I'm going to have to find the area of that whole rectangle and then subtract out the area of the triangle. So we will find the area of the rectangle and subtract the area of the triangle from it. So they told us the area of the rectangle is x cubed plus 6x minus 2. So area of the rectangle is x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2. And then I'm going to subtract the area of the triangle from it. And they told us the area of the triangle is 2x squared minus 5x plus 10. So I'll subtract 2x squared minus 5x plus 10. Okay, now I just need to change this minus to plus the opposite by distributing out the negative. So this first group will stay the same, x cubed plus 6x squared minus 2, and then plus, and now I'm changing the sign of everything inside the second group. So that positive 2x squared will become negative 2x squared, that negative 5x will become positive 5x, and that positive 10 will become negative 10. And now I'm just going to combine like terms. I'm going to start with the highest exponent, which is x cubed. That x cubed does not have anything else to combine with, so that is going to stay x cubed. Then the next highest exponent I see is x squared. So I have plus 6x squared and I have a negative 2x squared. And when I combine those, I get plus 4x squared. And then negative 2, oh no, I'm skipping one. So after the x squared will come the x's and I just have 5x. That 5x doesn't have anything else to combine with. And then lastly, I will have negative 2, which will combine with negative 10. And negative 2 minus 10 is negative 12. So there is the area of the shaded region. We found, or we took the area of the rectangle and subtracted the area of the triangle from it.